four more years of Roosevelt. He can't live forever. <sighs> Fellow travelers are almost worse than the Reds themselves. Roosevelt. Bringing communism in through the front door. I want you to be the examining psychiatrist on the farmer case. And I don't want any psychoanalysts involved. None of that talk and cure nonsense. You and I have known each other for a long while. And I think I can trust you to handle the delicacy of this case. She's too much in the sun, eh? Oh, precisely. Her mother is a God-fearing woman, a loyal American. She comes to my church almost every Sunday, a good woman. But she tends to be a little flamboyant. Somewhat hysterical. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I want the farmer case handled carefully and fast. When does it come up? Well, our sanity hearing is set for March 24th. As far as I'm concerned, anyone who holds her crazy beliefs doesn't deserve the freedom we fought for. Don't worry, there won't be any problem. I can usually determine a person's sanity with three questions. Hello, America. This is Lillian Farmer. I want to speak particularly to the mothers of America. Your children are in danger. My daughter, Frances, is already in the hands of the communists. And if I must sacrifice my daughter to communism, I hope other mothers save their daughters before they're turned into radicals in our schools. Because of radicals at the University of Washington, my daughter's being sent to atheist Russia. I tried to get her name struck from the contest, but to no avail. I am afraid that Frances will never come back if she goes there. And even if she does, she'll be so swayed by Soviet propaganda that she'll become a firm communist. This is a growing menace in America. Through subversion and trickery, our young people are being seduced into anti-Americanism and atheism. We must protect our homes with our flag. Thank you. <laughs>